Hey budding artists, it's Dean with Art Club. We are on the letter R today and I'm going to do a really cool rabbit being pulled out of a hat. So if we're ready, hey presto, pencils, let's get sketching. Let's do our letter R. Rabbit. Like so. And first things first, we will do our hat, which will be around about here. So I am going to do like a top hat. Sketch that out and then uh, we'll make it quite a cartoony top hat. Like so. Relax my little arm and we'll have a little band on the top hat that they do and I will put in where I know the highlight is going to be or where I want the highlight to be. A little bit here as well. Now I can get to do my rabbit and I'm hoping this is going to be a nice easy sketch today. I thought I would do the rabbit kind of lounging in the top hat as opposed to being pulled out of the top hat. So I need to get my rabbit drawn first. He is gonna be lounging with his little arm and I'm doing really light strokes for this. And his little paw like so. Uh, nice big fluffy belly and then his leg like so and then nice big bunny feet i have a funny feeling that little r2's on his way up or maybe not and his little paws Um, uh, we'll give him a little bit of spiky hair. Uh uh, not today. Come on. Well, one floppy ear, like so. And then one upright ear. A little spike on the top. So, uh, mm. ah, I've lost my train of thought now because R2 distracted me. Uh, a cute little nose, like so. Uh, a little smiley face, like so. doing up here, eh? No, not to my pencil, you little, you little horror. I wish I could do hey presto, hey? And put you back in your hat. Right, let's get you off, mister. That's quite enough distractions for one afternoon. I know you like to get involved with my art classes, but you can't. There you go. Let's get the rabbit's eyes in. Um, big eyelids as well. Uh, he is a cheeky little rabbit. And then I think at the, I'm gonna get this little leg in as well. Oh, he's really super, super comfortable, this little rabbit. And just propped up at the back. We'll do a nice juicy carrot. Like 
27. Here's our little carrot. And maybe we can have a little magic wand as well. With a few magic stars coming off. That give us some fun and colourful to add into this picture because it's a really nice simple design today which hopefully is not going to take too much to colour in if my little cat you oh, are <laughs> getting heavy lets me finish it a mixture of big and small five pointed stars A little one here, and a little one here just to fill that in, and a little one here. Let's get this outlined. So here we have our design all filled in and outlined. One little thing that I've missed off, as I can see, is his cheeky little smiley mouth, which will go here and here. Now, the majority of this is gonna be black with the top hat, and I have this huge big marker. But again, if you have pencil crayons, do it in pencil crayons. Um, just to speed this up, I am going to do, I'm going to use my marker just to fill in as much of this as I possibly can. It's super chunky. I have to be really careful for some of the areas. But you've seen me use this before. It's just so that I can get this area done quickly. Now let's leave the wavy line in where we want the highlights. And then I just need to Carefully just fill in this. This will give me more time to fill in all the good parts, the fun parts of the rabbit itself and all the little details. So just a very quick wash of colour all over the top hat. And then I'm going to go back in with my trusty black pen just to get all the edges done and just to neaten that up a little bit. Just 
just around the outside rim of the hat. Oops. So, and around his little hand. Here we are. And then these little parts here. Putting the shine part in. is usually, it's a little bit more, I would say, wobbly than this. Not sharp and spiky. Like so, this will do nicely. And then we have the hat filled in. And that's really, really giving me a lot of extra time. There's another little area that I need to fill in, which is also black which is the magic wand itself. So let's get you done as well. And that's everything. <clears throat> so I thought for my rabbit, I mean, you could do in white, but that would be no fun at all because then all of the picture would be almost done. So I'm gonna do it in a really, really, if I make sure this is a watercolor, um, pencil, I thought I would do him maybe sort of like a pinky, a pinky colour and then we can get all other sorts of colours going in here because after all he is a magic rabbit. So we will lightly colour him in. Actually, you can decide whether it's a boy or a girl rabbit. I would probably give it, if it was a girl rabbit, give it a few more extra eyelashes. Let's do this here nice and dark towards the bottom, because we know this is gonna be um, in the shade, and then we'll lightly color in one direction and keep the inside of this light. Because there would be high, natural highlight there. So what we could start to do is graduate this color to make it a little bit darker, especially at the tip and a little bit darker here. Much, much darker there. And then the same for this ear. Make it lighter at the top. and darker at the bottom. I'm starting to add a little bit of detail uh, just around the hair. He's got a little bunchy bit of hair, so I'll make that darker on the inside. I will do these parts of his face. Much darker. Uh, a little bit darker around the eye. If we fill that in. Definitely darker. Here, yeah. we carefully start to fill this in. It's really tricky when you're doing like scruffy hair. When you're coloring in, I'm gonna make this dark underneath the mouth for sure. And that nice and strong, lighter here. on this part like so and then a little bit lighter there a little bit of shadow underneath this nice cute white part of the mouth and then we can start to do the arms So, this part of the leg, like 
like so. Now then, for the feet. I probably should have even drawn this in, but we will make the feet darker, just around the edges. Now I didn't draw a line here, and I should have done. Um, this foot here, or this part of the leg, and the foot that accompanies it, is going to be very dark. Because that's in shadow. This part of the arm here will be nice and dark, so press nice and firm. And then we can make that a little bit lighter as we go up around the paws. Don't forget those little tips that are shining through the tips of his paw. And then we need to do the same here with this paw. So I'll keep that light in the center. Um, and we will do a little bit of shading around each one of the paws. A little bit of shading here because this will be darker and then I'm going to darken all of this outer area here like so and we will add just a few little bits of texture like so just so that we know that he's a fluffy rabbit there and also here on the leg so a much darker area, leaving the light around the outside. So I'm gonna keep my pink nice and safe because I think I may well need to come back to the pink. Now I want to give him a nice light purple. Uh, he says a nice light purple. And do I have a purpley color here? for the eyelids. I'm going to keep that nice and light in the middle. So just a little bit of that. We know that this pen goes a long, long way. I'll add a little bit of this other color purple as well. As you know, I like to mix my, my crayons up. And then I want a nice Color light blue for the center. Let's uh, let's do let's do my lovely light color blue, the one I normally use for when I'm doing white. This is good for the inside of the ears. And he's a fantasy rabbit, so you choose your own colors. If you want to do a green rabbit, do a green rabbit. A green rabbit would look really cool. So we'll cover this in. We'll leave a little bit of this white to make sure his belly looks fluffy. And then that means I will shade in this a little bit darker here. Um, the same but around the mouth. I'm just gonna outline this nice and firmly. Uh, we'll make that a little bit darker here and a little bit darker on the inside of the biggest ear just to get that a little bit more detail um, I'm going to do the underside of the foot this color blue the soles of his feet um, make them a little bit darker as well at the little bottom because that's in shadow. And now we have to decide what color to do. I'm gonna keep that up so I know which colors I've used. What color to do his paws. Now I think there should be more of a magenta pink. So, I don't know if you've seen the pads on animals' feet, especially things like rabbits, cats, dogs, you have these lovely little pads, and they're really soft. And I did once have a cat that had pink paws. I think my friend also has a cat that has pink paws. And it's beautiful, and it's really, really cute. Uh, so that's his paws done. Let's leave that out as well so that we know we have those. Now I need to give him a nose, and I think his nose should be this gorgeous color which is like a red and I'm going to put the highlight in already 
just like so. And I'm not going to keep that because I don't need it. I will add a tiny little bit of a very light colour grey, just to the teeth, especially the ones that's in the shadow, like so. And then this one here, and then underneath, a little bit underneath. And that's most of our, our rabbit done. Let's get the carrot done. We want a gorgeous orange carrot. Same principles, we will do a light wash of colour over the carrot, like so. Each part, and we're going to leave the middle of it as white as we can because that's going to be highlighted. Now, because the carrot is laying down, it should be darker orange for sure. Underneath. So let's make that a darker orange. There we go. And then I can slowly just creep that around, connect the little parts in the middle. So that these little lines connect. So you've got the shape of the carrots. Um, a nice little bit of greenery for our carrot. And we're on to our bright. So I want to stick with that. That theme is to do something very colourful. Yeah. When we activate these with the water, they will give us that lovely, transparent, leafy kind of feel. That's the beauty of these watercolour pencils. They're really easy to move around, so don't worry if that's looking too scribbly. That's exactly the way we want it to look. I want to add a little bit of my darker green, just as a shade. Behind here, a little bit on the trunk of the green here. This would be a little bit darker, and this would be a little bit darker here, and a little bit darker in the centre. Uh, the tip of the magic wand, that can be a little bit yellowy, but I want a nice light yellow, a nice bright yellow. Okay, add that in here. Uh, the band on the top hat. Now I'm inclined to do that. A lovely colour blue. Um, so we will lightly, very lightly and evenly fill this in. So nice even strokes, all one way. Not too hard. And um, remember I left the band of light should follow on from where we put the band of light here. And this should be all one colour. I will maybe make it a little bit darker here on the outside. Just lightly going over that. So there's a little point of difference, but this should be nice and light. It really should. Uh, the stars. The stars I'm probably going to do last because I want those to be all different colours. So let's get some brushes and start to fill these watercolours in. I'm going to stick with my smaller brush again today. And I have a tiny little cup of water which I will stick to the side. And I also have somewhere, I have my piece of... trusty kitchen roll. <coughs> Excuse me. This is like a must have because you can see how it absorbs the water if we're using too much. And it's a good way to test the color as well. If, you, if you've made a mistake, you can just rest it on your picture and it will absorb all the excess. So I think we should start with Mr. Mr. Bunny. And get him done. So I'm going to start with my lighter colour and just start to blend that in. Connecting it up to the dark but not going into the dark just yet. Add a little bit more water. As we do these little parts here. And I'm okay to do this dark part on the inside. 
the dark parts on the outside. So very, very lightly, just paint over those just to smooth them out. More water, but remove the excess. Underneath those lovely little teeth. And then the bottom half of the head. And you can see we've got these dark parts here, so now I can start to bring them together. You will notice that they do stay dark. And that's a good thing because we almost want the picture to look exactly the same, but just blended a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do is very carefully just blend the outer, this outer part here, of where I've added the darker pink. Well, it's the same color pink, but we've just pressed harder. And then start to soften that in. We may need a little tiny bit more water just to activate the paint in the bottom half. Pull that in so the two connect. And we'll do the same with the hair. Just very lightly wash over the lighter parts of the hair. And then go over with the darker parts. Same with the ears. Let's do this part here first. That's nice and dark. Then I will do the tip of the ear. And then this part. And nice and soft. That was dark and clean the brush. Remove any excess and then go back in and do this half. And sometimes you may need to clean your brush if you're going from a light to a dark, just to make sure you're not taking the dark into the light too much. But now I can start to do the light parts that go into the middle and then connect up to these dark areas. A little bit more water and dab off the excess. So I scribble those. Only a little bit more water, just to thin that out as we go into the lighter part, and then soften up this darker area, so kind of blend the darker area, and fade it into the lighter part. Then we have this other ear. We'll start off with the light at the top. Go down to the bottom. And then merge those two together. And that's quite nice and watery. We'll do the arms. Light first. Just a nice light wash. Try and avoid touching the black if you can. Why I like to use a smaller brush to start off with. So when I've left it white, I do want it to stay white. However, I'd like to wash the paint up as close as I can to keep it nice and light. Um, let's just take off the excess here. Let's do that inside part first. And just soften that up. Also, the outside parts. So very gently, when you're doing your shadow parts or your darker colors, just lightly move those around. It kind of just takes away the scratchiness of the actual pencil and turns it more into a paint. So we can soften the outer edge here as we take that into the pink. 
but you get like a graduated effect. So I'll turn that down. I should have enough to do these little parts of the hand. Yes, we do. And now I also can see this little part here that I missed. Which is pink. And let's go over the other arm. This is much darker, so in a way it's a lot easier because it's all the same colour. Uh, around the pores, trying carefully to avoid the purple at this stage because if not that will go onto the pink. Uh, we have some fur here which is lighter. So let's get the white done. brush add more water as we go into moving this darker patch around which is the shadow area as close to the hat as we can get it and around to the foot and this we have to be careful of because I didn't do a black line so we be very careful not to dislodge the blue I don't want blue into purple. And then finally, this back leg. Nice and dark again, which makes it a lot easier. As we soften this area here up. Let's just blend this in a little bit more. I think that's the majority of the rubber done. I'm going to go on and do his little detail bits on the eyes. Start to move that purple around for the eyelid colour. And now I want to clean my brush and start just lightly pulling that into the centre of the eye where there will be that natural highlight. And then for eye number two, exactly the same. Now let's do some of these pores. Trying to keep a little part of them highlighted. That white. Should still have enough water just to carry this through because it's very light. And the last one might do it. Yes. So I don't think the nose is going to move that much because we did it, but it might make it stronger, which it has done. So that's really, really good. Now we have these blues to do, so I have to make sure that my brush is clean, so all I'm doing is just wiping any of the excess pink off, or just trying it, and if I can see the pink here, I know I need to keep cleaning it in the water, because we're moving on to a brand new colour. What I will do with this one here is switch over um, to the slightly bigger brush, which is this one here, um, smaller amounts of water. It's only because this is the inside of this is fluffier. I may well go back to the other one, the smaller brush when I do the the soles of the feet. So we're just going to use a little circular motion just to connect the blues up. And it's darker on the inside. And this can be quite fluffy. You can do these little fluffy strokes just to move the paint around because that's how it would be. It's furry. Uh, the ears, and we'll start off with the lighter. Colour, just at the bottom here and in the middle, and then we'll go up to the dark. And we will start to move that around. 
connecting the two very lightly, like so. And I should have enough here just to do this part of the blue. Yep, and let's give this a try, shall we? The bigger the brush, the quicker you'll get this part done. And all the brushes do have a little point. So better to have a slightly tapered brush than it is to have anything that's too blunt. Let me just see if I can soften this up a little bit more before it dries. A little bit more water. That's better. Uh, big brush. Let's keep that. I mean, as we're doing our blues, we might as well do this little part here. So let's soften this up. So the brim of the hat, or the, uh, not the rim of the hat, this is the band of the hat. So let's give that a nice even wash of colour. Make sure you have enough water on your brush. These are usually satin. Which is like a very shiny fabric. So I'm going to clean my brush, keep the water on there as we start to go into where it would be naturally highlighted. Connect those two together. That's looking fine. I've got a little bit of grey on the tooth here. Let's see if we can soften that up a little bit. And that goes into shadow there. And I'll use a little bit of that on the eye. Just a shade in there. And big brush for the carrot. So start off with the light colour again. And carrots there. I love the vibrancy of a carrot. That beautiful bright orange. But also the texture. I do find that these pencils, because you've used a, like a scribbly motion for filling in the, the base colour of the pencil, you can really, almost, it creates the effect of a, the texture of a real carrot. So don't worry about this being absolutely perfect, there's no need. Let's just clean off my brush a little bit and then just lightly soften up these little pieces here as we connect them to the other side. That's our lovely camera. We'll do the same with the leaves. Make sure my brush is completely free of orange as we go on to another colour. So again, the leaves we know we can be a lot more fluid in how we move this green around and make it a bit transparent. We'll do the light green first on both of the leaves. And then I will switch over to my smaller brush so that I can do these dark areas. Just like so. Do a little bit for the stem, connect that around here, and have a little bit of texture there. This is the center part. And just soften that, and then finally get the stalk. As I currently, I have a little bit of yellow. So make sure your brush is clean again, rinse it with lots of water. Let's add that in here. And then we can start to do a little bit more, um, a, a tiny little bit more detail, not a lot, just a few finishing touches. Now, there's something we haven't done before, but I'm gonna do it with this. This is, um, the watercolors do a white, and it's a really, really nice thing to have um, as an extra. Uh, you can leave these areas here white, but if you need to put in a little bit of shine, then, I always think that these are a good way of doing it. So we can put in on the 
rim of the hat, a little bit of white, where we think that might be shining, also down the top of the magic wand, like so. Gives it a little bit more detail, a little bit here, in this corner of the hat, nice. And again, you can soften this up as well. It will, it will transfer into a paint as we did before. The green here, and not as much water because we're painting it over black, but that will, it will act as a, as a paint. Which is really nice, we don't often get the chance to do the, the white, but when you're using a lot of black and you feel like you need to put in extra highlight, this is a really nice thing to do. And that will also play into effect when we do, let's get a little bit of a, um, a really dark grey. So I'm going to use this, this is my shadowy pencil that I've used before. So I'm going to take that over there the outer part here and then just dab off any excess I've got of water and then just to connect these two up so the black parts of pen into almost like a medium tone you can use this just to go along and I'll put the, the highlight this will just give it a little bit more drama and detail quite a nice little effect and I can use this grey as well for shading key areas on a gorgeous little rabbit so I will use a little bit here and just very carefully just soften that up I will use a little bit just behind this arm and soften that up just because this arm here there is going to be a lot more shadow and also on this leg part so very carefully I'm not pressing too hard but this should be this should be much darker let's remove any excess that I may have the brush shouldn't be too wet for this especially when you're using a darker color because we just want to create a shadow on this particular area here. Move that up a little bit. And you can make it look more fluffy. I'm gonna add a tiny little bit. Let's try just here. Because I feel as if this should be darker. Good. Um, a little bit around the rim of the hat because obviously his foot's behind it. So again carefully just activate that with a little bit of water just to create a shadow. I need a bit more. And these are all just to give your, your finished um, artwork just a little bit more dimension. Um, I don't want any for the character. Actually, the only thing I would do is maybe put a little bit here. And then just use that brush just to soften that up, just a little bit of a shadow 
as it's coming behind the, the hat. Now, let's get these stars done. The stars we're gonna do in up to pen, so we can get them nice and bright. We will have some yellow ones. I just want the stars to really, really stand out. Uh, a nice light color blue for this big one. Have another light blue one because I like that color. And let's go for I haven't used my highlighter for ages, and you know how I like to just make some of them a little bit brighter. And these neon pens are fabulous, they're really, really good. In fact, we will do another one of those for one of the little stars. can we do purple this little one could be purple this one here which is bigger can be purple purple is such a gorgeous color and how about a bright 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 green just here got a couple more orange orange here not too near the carrots and then, what else can we do? Let's add this other one here, yellow. We've only done one yellow, and there might be more. And, got another light color blue here. Let's add this little one. Here it can be light blue. And if you want to finish off, I shall use a few of these, and we will do little, what I call little star bursts. So it's just like all these little, it's a straight line, straight line that you're making across. And then some of the other lines in between just need to be a bit bigger. And they are a good way of making something look more magical. Like so. This color's perfect for that. But you could use yellow as well. So the last thing I have to do is the R for rabbit. I've chosen to do a nice big cartoony R to match our cartoony picture of our rabbit. So there we have it. That's a, a very simple, nice, effective, easy cartoony drawing of a little rabbit. Oh, my Rizzo the rat fell down. I always have my little action figure with me. Have fun in recreating your own version of this. You can do the rabbit just popping straight up out of the hat. Um, change the colour of your rabbit, whatever you feel. Just get creative, have fun. There's no wrongs or rights with this. You really need to enjoy yourselves. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this lesson with me. Uh, tomorrow's going to be another letter. So until then, take care. Bye.